Because that, yeah. Because I didn't used to fart anyway. Oh, mm -hmm. no, no. But you do now? Is that? Hey, now I'm a machine. Say so he's I'm catching machine. up for all the years and never farted. I mean, God. Oh, man. <laughs> Maybe we should get some code pants. <laughs> Baby, Good afternoon, I have my sunglasses okay. and I'm going to put them on to see what ain't happening. Welcome to another edition of Old Black Dudes Sitting Around Kicking It. Y'all name change every time we do this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what's going on. And if we change what we call it, it's because we're You're young. Old men. What? Huh? Who, who you call it old? Anyway, we old men, like he said. So I happened to be David Harold Dudley III, a.k.a. Sweet Sonny, a.k.a. Delightful Day. Oh, and doing? welcome. What? I got to <laughs> follow that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I don't have a chance. Okay. I'm Gary Green. I'm the street philosopher. I'm the real Cliff Barnes. As Hello. opposed... Go ahead. As opposed to a guy on TV like. who's like a fictional character in a TV series that used to be no money once upon it. a time. And also, he's not the guy at the UW that's a microbiologist or whatever. No, he was or an oceanographer and he passed away. You're not him either? No, because I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not him. I, uh, you know, I was going to send a hologram, but yeah. things didn't work out. Yeah, so we, we, we were, we, before we, we, we became online, are we online? Anyway, no, we was guy. talking about... Uh, no, no, I got that whole conversation. You don't have to run no. it back. I was, I was rolling. <laughs> <laughs> you, I'm sorry. You came in and then all of a sudden it's like, yeah, I'm done, crack. <laughs> hey, oh, you know, that's what editing's for. But I'm like, I got to run this back. Because <laughs> I was thinking to myself, bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> <laughs> the mic is officially hot now, but it was hot before. I won't Donald Trump, y'all. Is there such thing as a cold mic? A cold mic? A cold, a cold mic. mic. Oh, I thought Basically, you... when you're around any kind of sound True. equipment, you True. automatically assume every mic is hot. True. Why? Because, because you is. say yeah. dumb shit and you think you're yeah. not on and you're on. I'm not. Okay, here's an example. You know, like your woman. <laughs> She'd be on a phone or talking about just something. And they're talking about somebody, she and her partner, they really don't like. She said, okay, all right, talk to you later. Click. She thinks she hangs up, but she doesn't. I hate that bitch. <laughs> because the mic was still hot. What? <laughs> Turn signal. When did you get so many after uh, aliases? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Did you smoke before you got here? <laughs> he turned into Barbarino and shit. You know, welcome back, Connor. No, I mean, you, you switched what? subjects so, so fluidly. That so was the same subject. Was, wait a minute. How is it the same subject? We were talking about hot mics. Yeah. And, and, and you and, always and assume that, it, that the mic is speak, hot. Personally speaking, I don't know because I'm not into guys. Wait, what? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Is this... What? What? Did you... What? Did, I... Okay. No, you seriously, seriously. Smoke nothing I gave him. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who accused him of being in the guy? I don't know. I don't, what? <laughs> what? Who said you, you, you were... gonna make me edit the shit out of this in one. the guy. <laughs> what? what? You said you're not into guys. What's that guy? What's that do got to do with, with anything we were, we're talking, talking about? With your aliases that you've grown. By the way, just people try to figure out what this is about. For us, this is like the old days going to the barbershop. <laughs> yeah. We would just go to the barbershop, 
and be different personalities here. We all have different personalities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got about four. Only brought three today. Uh, and um, we would just do what we do. So to give you young folks some point of reference. Okay, now let's get back to how many personalities did you grow since high school? Um, David Harold W. Third and um, Prince Charles. <laughs> and, you know, and just did you? Were you Sweet Sunny D before sweet the drink or after? <laughs> <laughs> now understand, I didn't give myself these names. I, I, I don't. I, don't, I know you didn't give yourself the first one because that would have been when you were born, so you wouldn't have been. So that one, I know. All the rest of these, I don't know where they came from. You have to explain that. Well, there, 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 there was this young lady when oh, I was in high school uh -huh. who said I was such a pleasure to be around. Uh -huh. She enjoyed my, my stage presence that she called me Delightful. Okay. Delightful day. Delightful day. That's yeah. sweet sunny. That's sweet yeah. sunny. Yeah, yeah. That's sweet yeah, sunny. Yeah, the, 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 uh, <laughs> the, the late mother of, of my oldest child mm -hmm. said, you're so sweet. <laughs> So uh -huh. and that's where it came from. So but, you really but, just hang on to compliments <laughs> that women give you and just get this tagline. <laughs> that's up there with spank me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's <laughs> um, <clears throat> oh. Okay, well anyway. So so the next time I hear it. It makes sense because if, if somebody had it just said, "Do you know Sweet Sunny David Dudley the Third?" I would have. But no, no, no. See, they're all separate. They're all separate. Oh, okay. see, see yes. Sweet Sunny is, is that devoter. <laughs> he, he's devoter. <laughs> is that French? <laughs> It has to be. That's friends. I'm the boner, baby. The <laughs> boner. You sway too, I tell you. Sway yeah, and the boner. Sway and the boner. Oh, all right, I can relate. So now uh, I'm all cut up. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, because see all Because we miss a week. Yeah. Right. So I was. <laughs> I know. I did. Mean, what happens? Two weeks. Yeah. So is everything okay? No. Okay. Well, that just, I don't know where we, what road we turned on to. <laughs> but it was a dead end. It, it was. It's like, oh. I didn't see well, that's that. the answer, I guess. Okay. Okay. Don't, 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 don't throw it to Sunny. Right. <laughs> don't toss it to Sunny. It's going to die. <laughs> but but the, uh, uh, it's only because football season started, and I'm, I'm totally immersed in uh, Go Dogs and, you know, and, and then Sanders. Beat the shit out of, out of Alabama and all that other stuff, you know. Alabama came yeah. close to getting that but yeah, You almost got your Yeah, but the wrong guy was coaching. Well, the wrong guy's always coaching if you don't like Nick Saban. Well, I, 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 listen, <laughs> listen, I, I, I dislike the guy that was co that he was coaching against even more than I dislike him. Who because because he was a jerk when he was here. Who was that? Sark. Oh, is that Sarkat, 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 Sarkasian, Sarkasian, yeah, Sarkasian? That, that guy. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah, that's true. He, you know, I don't, it didn't. He wasn't really that great a personality, and you know, but they won a few games, you know, when he was coaching. But. Yeah, but he depleted. I mean, Husky, Huskies that haven't been the same. They say since Tyrone, no, it was since him. Yeah, since him. Since him. Huskies haven't been the same. Because he, 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 he all he believes in is fancy stuff and poo poo. I mean, you don't believe in those smash rounds. Yeah. Well. Because <laughs> they, don't, they don't look like they want to hit like what we're used to. Yeah. Well, yeah, they used to send. Uh, I mean, they had people in prison. They used to send. Remember I mean, George George Juggle? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Whoa, yeah. that's going way back. Yeah, I'm just saying, but since he had a legacy, and that's the kind of guy they used to get all the time, the George Juggum types that, that would kill a mama. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everybody need a shot of college. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't, you know, you know, you get that little scholarship money, you know. Yeah, that works out. But, but those guys, I mean, 
you got to have guys that drink alcohol and not just drink milk. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because the guys that drink milk, who Sark likes, although he drinks the alcohol. Well, that's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true. true. <laughs> He's had a whiskey mustache plenty of times. <laughs> But, but yeah, that's how things are. It's the football season. So, were, were you one of the people going Russell Wilson? Who? Russell Wilson. Oh my God, he didn't even that. He just put his name out the Rolodex. Wait a minute. No, wait oh, a minute. for y'all, the Rolodex is this thing you used to have and it would roll around and you look through it and it's like a file and you kept phone numbers on it instead of just punching it in on your phone. Anyway. And, and if you was high. Right. Had this black dog and it made yourself flip, 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 flip. Yeah, flip. Oh, yeah. you had the curve. Yeah. Oh, you had the upgraded oh, one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit, yeah. Shit. Flip, flip, flip. No, we had my Filipino, Filipino, Filipino. Oh, now I know who you are. <laughs> oh, that one's here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that okay. That's funny. That, yeah, yeah. Several yeah. personalities showed up. <laughs> Where's uh, uh, Where's the disclaimer? The the views of Sonny David Hurley <laughs> do not reflect the character <laughs> like a way of the producer. Nope. Well, no, you. mine didn't say. Mine just made the flip sound. Right. We never, I never had, had one. one. Huh? I never had one. But you know that about that sound. You never took a playing card and a clothespin and put it on the back of your wheel of your bike? No. Nope. Flip, 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 flip. Nope. While you were pulling around them little wooden hydroplanes. Hey. I have this time for you. Nope. Yeah, that was not smell with the, the farts, you know, but no. no. <laughs> <laughs> There's a segue. Okay. <laughs> segue? <laughs> Yours or whose? We don't need no segue. Yeah, I mean, what? He said it don't matter. Huh? Whose farts were you know. protecting yourself from? Everybody's. Apparently, <laughs> it's like, okay. Because that, yeah. Because yeah. I didn't use to fart anyway. Oh, no, no. But you do now? Is that? Hey, now I'm a machine. Say so he's I'm catching up for all the years and never machine. farted. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we should get some cold pants. <laughs> Maybe. You better get us a wish of wind, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm up with it. Okay. <laughs> but is, yeah, but, I mean, yeah. is that going that old way. age or you change your diet or? Uh, you and just the medicine. Yeah, yeah, the medicine. Oh, the medicine, yeah. That would Oh, yeah. Now, do you eat broccoli to counteract it? Do I eat broccoli? Because if the medicine is making you gassy, broccoli by nature makes you gassy, so if you eat it gassy... Should, it should cancel each other If you eat gassy? If you eat lime, No, if you, if you eat broccoli... <laughs> gassy? If you gassly eat broccoli, right. it will counteract the medicine gas. It'll, it'll, it'll no, cancel it's green beans. Huh? Right, green beans. And that helps with the anti-fart? I have no idea. Yep. Because you got the clothespin on your nose, so you so don't you care. Wouldn't I don't do that anymore. What do you In do? the last what do you do one now? minute and 18 seconds, you stop doing that? What do you do now? You no, know, I only did the, the clothespin yeah. when I was younger because I didn't have a bike, a bike to put a car in. in. <laughs> so, no, but I had a clothespin because okay. my mom did clothes on the line. Got gotcha. you. So, <laughs> blue, blue, blue. Got gotcha. you. You yep. tied that in, okay, you brought me right? <laughs> You yeah, know what? Yeah. Oh, wow. Masterful the way you brought that in. <laughs> Gotta be honest, we didn't know where this road was. You tied it all up, you know? You tied it all up. The whole time, we left here and he was going out there. And, oh, here you are. We're just still driving along. You brought it in. So I, was yeah, I think this whole episode is about you, and that's working. Because yeah, this is entertaining. The mind of <laughs> Sunny <Sunday> Beach. <laughs> so, okay, since you, you ever had this day. happen, and what do you do about it? There's an elevator, and you're on an elevator, crowded at an elevator, right? No. Just go with me. Right? <laughs> Just you've heard quick. of them. Just you've heard, you've heard of elevators and crowds. <laughs> a lot of people get right. in an elevator. You heard of that, right? Uh -huh. So, so you're an elevator. crowded elevator. Somebody bus one and it ain't you, then everybody gets off the elevator but you. Uh -huh. It goes to the next floor. <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm going <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey. 
I work with a guy that would do stuff like that. <laughs> Look, we was, we was working at what used to be Cabrini Hospital. There would, used to be a clinic in, up there on Madison. Right, right, and, right, right. And so right over at Brown City <coughs> Basin and all that. So he would, like, go up to the next floor and then the elevator's going down, so he'd get on there, and then he would go down here, and then he would fart, <laughs> and then walk out the elevator, and the little nuns were in there, and then he would run down to the next floor, and when the elevator door opened up, these people were coming out, and he, would, he thought that was the funniest thing on the planet. I kind of thought it was a little humor in it, my damn self, but I never did that kind of stuff. Of course, um, that's a lot of effort for a laugh, though. I don't know if I well, just got the energy. Well, no, the thing is, committed to the thing is, you know, okay, you know what? I'm already in the joke. I'm seeing you know, through my you know, butt. The thing is, he wasn't running upstairs; he was running downstairs. Yeah. So you know, and the, and the floors was, I mean, you know, just a little half thing, and you're there, and then you could necessarily, you don't want to necessarily be right there when they came up because they knew you got it. Right. So you're kind of just halfway down the last floor. And so, you know, wow. and I guess he was in good enough shape that he... Wow. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's... But yeah, he would, that's a lot of effort. He would, <laughs> he would be committed to it, you know. He'd even need the right stuff so that that could happen. Wow. He was... He was <laughs> Maybe he had a person. Was it always the nuns? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They hate Catholics. I don't know. They, they might have been. Nobody else, just the nuns. But he did. But I know because it was that was a Catholic uh, hospital, and so there would always be nuns running around. Well, walking around. You know, they only ran at Seattle U when we were children and in the building. I say, y'all know any nuns? Um, no, not right offhand. I wonder if there are any new nuns. Uh, there, uh, there probably are. They're, it's really weird though, you know. I've never driven any, anybody to be a nun. <laughs> or That's a good point. I yeah, that. that's true. You know, it's like, oh, I hate that. And then all of a sudden, and now there's... Actually, I did know somebody who said she was going to be a nun. I think she went into all the training and all the stuff, but I think she gave it up. I don't yeah, know you know, it's, it's tough. So I mean, give up a bunch of a bunch of them worldly activities, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Because <coughs> yeah. how do you train to be a? What do you go to a nunnery? Or, I mean, where do you yeah, go to train? Yeah, they to got a. a um, I feel like that almost sounds right. What do you call it? <laughs> a uh, nunnery. A convent. Yes. They got, they have a convent, oh. and they and they train them and and deprive them of stuff. <laughs> so you won't be needing this. It's a joke in there, so. Just be deprived of them, and so they, you know, and they, I, I guess, basically, it just seems like you would have to learn to do without a lot of things. Was that lit when you went in there? No. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I've got to pick up the girl, i uh-huh. He was in there lighting them. <laughs> oh, was that the incense? <laughs> <laughs> or in the old days, it would be a match. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, he's like, I know where I'm at. Let me light this weed. This will come. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Anyway. So, uh, anything happened while you were gone? Yeah. It was great. Everything come out all right? I don't know about that. Oh, <laughs> just asking. You yeah, know, conversationally <laughs> speaking. So, what happens when you speed the weed? Um, it gets there faster. Gets where? Wherever you're going. I take it you're referring to the shirt. This says says Speedy Weed, the original 502 delivery. Oh, see, I can't read the small Oh, yeah. Camera? Oh, camera? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, this was a company I worked for when I first retired. And we used to deliver... Let me see it. Turn. We used to deliver... Uh, oh, here we go. We used to deliver... Um, gotcha. Um, pot to rec stores and dispensaries. Okay. So all up and down the I-5 corridor, and then they had some other people 
that did <coughs> east of the mountains. So, you know. So the weed is not speedy, it was just we were, we would get it there on time. For did the, you ever get a ticket? Uh, no, actually. I would, uh, you know, stay in my lane. Quickly, though. Speed, you wouldn't speed, wander. Speed, speedily. Speedily. <laughs> speedily in my lane. Okay. Speedily. And so anywhere, so I would be going from Blaine to Olympia, anywhere in between, and I'll run, what do you call that thing? Uh, it's a big island. Whidbey Island. Whidbey Island? Whidbey Island. Oh, Whidbey Island. Whidbey, yeah. It I sounded like you said R. Ridley? What? Rigby. Oh, Rigby. No, no, that's not an like, island. Like I Eleanor. Know of. Eleanor Rigby? Yeah. yeah. What's she doing? I don't know. I haven't seen the bar in a while. I've Rigby. never seen her. Now that sounds like the Jimmy Johns of. <laughs> what? Jimmy Johns of. I need to get out. Where you at? <laughs> yeah, right away. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it wasn't. It w <laughs> they didn't have a service like that. You know, I, I haven't heard of it in a while, but when, when they first legalized it here, yeah. you could call up and, and, somebody and, would deliver. and somebody would deliver. We call that the weed man. Yeah, but but it was all like up and up and, up and legal now. Well, no, up back and in up, the day. Back in the day. Back in the day, you know, and then you probably already had it, so you wouldn't need, You don't have to go nowhere now. These kids don't have to leave their house. Yeah. They can get food delivered, True. booze, pot, yeah. groceries. Yeah. yeah, you can go to safe where you bring toilet paper and, and paper towels. And, and with the electric cars, you ain't even got to go get gas. You know, <laughs> you know, sure don't. You know so I mean, you could get... Literally stay in your house for most and of your life. They have professional dog walkers. Yeah, you ain't got to walk. You got a dog. You got a dog. So I can come over and grab him and take him off for a walk, bring him back, and throw the crap away. And you don't have to. I saw a picture of a dog, and he had his leash in his mouth. And he was walking himself. So I, yeah, I put the caption on there: "Time is the walking dog." <laughs> You teach your dog to walk itself. Yeah, yeah. 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 But so, yes, it's, it's uh, but anyway, that's how, I mean, that's how there was a lot of, there still are a lot of third party transport people delivering weed to their dispensaries and rec stores. And, um, you know, some farms have their own delivery. I mean, like they'll come, you know, get it and then take it to the store themselves. But we were a third party, so we dealt with a bunch of different oh, farms. Oh, farms had their own delivery service. Some farms do. Wow. Like the milkman in the old days. Yeah. I mean, they'll just bring it They'll just bring it to the store. And then, you know, then they had a lot of paperwork and everything had to match. All the products had to match. And you, their list has to match your list. And then they sign it and I sign it. And they give me money and I go and deliver some more. Wow. It was, it, was, so, it was nice. Let me ask you this. Have you ever tried that online ordering thing? I I haven't ordered anything online online in my life. Hey, for real? No, I have What what am I gonna order online? You never use Amazon? No. Why would I? What the damn? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Why would I mean? I, there's nothing I want that I I mean most of the things I I I need I already have. And I don't, I'm not, I don't try a lot of these strange new products and medications and shit, you know. So I just, nope, never bought nothing online. My daughter has quite a lot. I, mean, I was about to say, she's she, my age, so I'm she, about to Yeah, <laughs> she, you know, y'all, yeah, y'all, you know that. Too. And I have a buddy I used to work with, and uh, he did everything. He paid all of his bills, he ordered everything. I mean, you know, his life was the computer and the and the cell phone. But I never had an opportunity or a need to order anything online that I can think of. Do you feel prevenous? Hmm? <laughs> did, did I feel who? <laughs> not, not David. <laughs> did, not did you feel David? No. Did you feel depravenous because you never ordered anything off? 
Amazon. Not actually. I feel um, smug, like a, smart a, like, like, a, like a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> And don't forget, I'm still regular, man. So, <laughs> you know what? I use regular stuff. <laughs> regular man has to have an arch enemy, otherwise. What's the purpose of being regular? You got an arch enemy for regular man? Like fake thug man or something? <laughs> <laughs> Can you see that? I understand. Fake yeah. thug man I mean, if you were going to be a superhero, what would your superpower be? Are you in deep thought, or...? The command of silence. Silence. What are superpowers? Huh? What are superpowers? Powers far above and beyond those of mortal men. Like what? Like Superman. No, like what kind of powers? Oh, hell, I don't know. There's a bunch you can have. You read them comic books. I don't. Well, you've read them. Once upon a time. Okay. They're there far up in the lab. Check far, far away. Far away. There's, there's, there's <laughs> some approaches that haven't been spoken for. But no, you have, I mean, you know, there's people that are invisible, and then there's people that are this big, and then there's people that are huge, and there's the Hulk, you know, superpowers. Speaking of Hulk, did you see where uh, there was some kind of accident yesterday, as a matter of fact? Uh-huh. And a tree or a pole fell on the car. Right. And some dude got out of the car and lifted the pole up so the car could drive off. Well, hey. it. So the cops is looking for him, and they called him the Incredible Hulk. Yeah, like well, the, the thing is, it's probably just a bunch of them big college football players, and they just appear, you know. Wow. Just yeah, showing well, up. Now, that's a superpower. Well, like little old ladies, where there's an accident and some kind of way their child or whatever is underneath oh, the car, yeah. and they can lift up the car. That's, that's that adrenaline thing. Yeah. Yeah. But no, these guys just do it for fun, because they're, they're like linemen and shit, so they probably just jumped up, picked it up, got drove up, and they let it down and went away. I know, but that's not a superpower. That's just that's what I was saying. Doof, doof I something. mentioned the Hulk, he took us off on a Hulk tangent. Now, what superpower yeah, you oh, yeah. <laughs> would you like if you had a superpower? Um, uh, you know, obviously, hypothetically, because I don't think we'll be getting none at this point in our lives, <laughs> but you never know. Not the power of quickness, but no, <laughs> the power Anything. of deep, deep thought. Yeah, power of deep thought. <laughs> Thinking man. <laughs> Thinking man. I already have that though. Yeah, That's probably. True. But is, do you have a superpower? It or That's do you saying. have? You it, have. That's, it. That's my power. So you're saying you already have the superpower? Right. You, you wouldn't take on a different one that would not no no i'm just saying that particular one i already have over there all right we already got it okay so which one would you take nigga <laughs> <laughs> which one would i mean you know because people usually say i want to be a bit the ability to be invisible or the, a good one to fly a lot of people that you ask because you know like in in this subject comes up in bars and shit yeah and a lot of people that you ask they wish they could fly I don't know if I'd like to fly or not. It's hard to say. You know, then some people want to be invisible. And then here's the one that you might like, the ability to read minds. Some people like that. Does that you work know? for you? Telepathy. Um, okay. Sure. That's part of it. Yeah. 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 Telepathy. See, and, 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 you and, also and have, have the ability, when you read the mind, to twist it to the way you want it. You want to be Professor X. Yeah, uh, yeah. So that's yeah. that. That's what he he a, a can control yeah. your mind. He can get in there and a make you yeah. see. Yeah, a, a, a manipulator. That's his. That's kind of his superpower. But it is. is. It, it look. He's sitting with his legs crossed. He's a villain. He wanted to just get in people's minds. I, I see what's going on here. You got a you got a shark tank, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dad, the joke was just unfolding. I had to keep running away. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> a matter of fact, I do. What, have a shark tank? Yeah. Oh, really? Now, which kind? The kind that auditions people that are trying to sell products or a tank that with actual sharks in it? Both. Okay, so the sharks are probably well, auditioning. I can't do it. <laughs> Aren't you afraid you might abuse that power? Because you you kind of borderline anyway. <laughs> you know what? I'm, the council well, of no, 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 power let me, wait, 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 let me ask you this. Okay. <laughs> if you was a king, yeah. the king of England, 
or this room or whatever couch, yeah. would you not say, ah, I don't like it, and get out of here? Because you could. That's not the superpower I'm aiming at, though. I didn't say that. I was just asking. No, but uh, of course, that's it. <laughs> well, this, yeah, is yeah. Parallel, this is a yeah. parallel story, right? <laughs> parallel story. <laughs> another, yeah. ta another tangent. Yeah. Though, you know. As you know, I create my own universes to fit me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that. We've done five episodes of this. You don't know that. Uh, really, though. Um, well, I'll tell you. Okay, hold that though. No, I, yeah, I'm just going to get back to the okay. point. But go ahead. Go ahead. My superpower, and this is for real. Am I in focus? Yes. I wish I could have the power that whatever anybody does that's evil, it happens to them or somebody in their family at the same time they're doing it. Ooh. Yeah, I'll put an end to this bullshit. <laughs> so, so, what you want, so what you want is super karma. Super what? Karma? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. I Superhero like name is Carmax. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't get me don't get me sued. <laughs> don't have a lawyer sending me. You will cease and desist with that car. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's really weird though. But, no, but you hear about people in superpowers. Yeah, Damn, that was good, Gary. <laughs> that was good. Sorry. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> but no, I you know. Hey, just curious. What did I say? I don't even know what I said. <laughs> Oh, with something to do with um, oh, whatever. Karma. Yeah, yeah. That's the power I would have. But the thing is, you can't be everywhere at the same time, and evil happens all over the world at any given moment. I got people, but they got the same power. No, no. So no. how could you see? I mean, they, okay, it's like a, a the cloud storage. Okay. Okay, you can have fifteen different computers, right? Right. Right. All the central information goes through the cloud. Okay. I am the cloud storage of fucked up evil. Okay. So, you know. But wouldn't that really kind of fuck with your mind with all that evil in there? Well, I, was, I, I believe in the book of Clinton. Good. And I freed my mind. Yeah. And my ass followed. Okay. And so, yeah, I've got that fixed. But it's a situation I wouldn't have to do it. Right. It would be the evil in how much time do you say we don't have all day? What do you say that's going to have to be on the evil gene? Because I actually believe there are people that have the evil gene. They are predetermined to do evil. They can't help it. They are genetically engineered to be evil. I yeah, that. I know that. I believe that humans got a greed factor too. Oh, that hell. goes right into it. That right. mixes right. it all together because they do evil shit because of the greed that drives them. The, the greed that drives them. So, so yeah. I wouldn't yeah. have to be there when people did evil, it's just the evil, whatever fucked up gene you have that says, I don't care about doing good. Or right. It's like the song. Which song is instant that? Instant karma's gonna get you. Oh yeah. That's instant you. karma. That's it. Instant That's karma. It. Yeah. Yeah. Control, you're right. Yeah. Instant karma. So, you know. That, but that's, that's an interesting superpower. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm mean, just curious, yeah, you know, yeah. no, that's, you know, like that's I say, what I think about. These are things that, you know, pop up in bars and, yeah. you know, the comedy barbershop. shows yeah. and barbershops yeah. all across the country. So, you know, people. And I don't want any money for this. I don't want any reward. I just, I don't want a safer place for me to live because there's only one earth. Right. Shut up, man. Man, we must be, <laughs> we black in here. <laughs> oh, wait, that's your answer. Oh, right. <laughs> um, hello? <coughs> oh, you're living? Okay. Well, that's important. What can I do for you? I'm right, I'm right in the middle of a, a major conversation with uh, two old guys. One old guy and me. Two old guys and me. There were two uh, old. And I'm doing the podcast right now, even as we speak. You want to be? You want to be on it? Well, no. I was just gonna hold the phone up to the camera. You singing Yankee Doodle Dandy? All right. You the man. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our friend Papa G, and you can't see him because I'm not 
FaceTime and Instagram and all that crap. Oh, I just told you you might hold the phone up to the camera. Wait, wait, wait. Hold I'm the phone done. Still. Here, what? Did you want to? <laughs> <laughs> Got him! Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh wow! Oh, oh wow! Man, you were photo bomb. You were photo bomb. I wasn't there. It wasn't me. No, no, I, I don't have time no. right now because. Um, no. Oh wait, just a minute. Here's That's somebody you might no. know. No. Hey, it's for you. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It ain't on my phone. <laughs> well, it, it's, wow. but it's for you. No. Somebody that you know wanted to talk to you. No. Okay, you're gonna have to call him yourself because he's just being a butt. But oh wait, no. Why should today be different? Anyway, love though. That, that, that's my so so anyway. Love, um, uh, hold that thought. Cause what what what? what his, about, huh? His superpower is love. What? Wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. No, we were just what? We okay. If you okay okay. If if you could have a superpower, what would it be? Wait a minute, this is not this, this is not helping us shoot right now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> can, okay, let's get back okay. to the conversation. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, see now you're gonna be repeating the question. Anyway, gotta go. Repeat. Well, uh, I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. I was gonna Ooh. I was gonna let you talk to this old guy, but he decided he didn't want to say anything to you. No. It's, uh, so All right. Anyway, bye. Okay. 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 That was a phone call. All right. So let's get back real quick. Um, so just to recap real quick, that so you said you were basically the Sunny Delight version of Professor X. Uh, mm -hmm. And Gary, you you are Carmax, Carmel Man. <laughs> Cliff, where are you at? What's your superpower? <laughs> I'm just regular man. Ah, uh, well, what? So what? That entails no uh, internet purchases. That's, None. That's your superpower. That my superpower is I can live on Earth without Amazon. You're your own uh, arch enemy. Absolutely. Okay. Because the thing is, I understand me though. So you're all inclusive, man. Exactly. Damn. I have several, I, many personalities, but. But we all wear the same costume. Well, we, what am we, I missing? We, we dress different. Not, not we all. Him all. All his characters. I see how we both went automatically to... <laughs> of course. <laughs> see? In this case, you probably wanted a Speedy Wee t-shirt, but no. I have it, my uniform, for the day. It changes from time to time. But when it changes, it changes for everybody. All of you. All of you. Not necessarily. So somewhere there's one of you is right now that doesn't have on the Speedy Weed shirt. Uh, yeah, that would be the ones at home. I thought you said you brought three of you here. But that don't mean that's all of us. I tried to trick you. See, you all got your story together, didn't you? Speedy <laughs> Wee Man, he what? figured that out right away. What? <laughs> yeah. That's another. That's another one of the regular man superpowers. Yeah. You can see him coming. <laughs> I like regular. Just a regular guy. That'd be messy. Uh, buy, buy a jar of jelly. He can't get the lid off. Uh -huh. Reaches in a door, gets a knife, <laughs> gets some pliers. Right. Ooh, you look regular man. <laughs> I'm a superhero. <laughs> regular man. But no, I mean the thing is, you know, superpowers are interesting because we were discussing a while back whether anybody thought superpowers were real. I mean that if they're people that are regular folks and then something happens and they develop a power that's beyond what everyone else can do kind of thing. Right, right. So yeah, so that was just a kind of like, just went across my mind, one of them. And, um, you know, 
was asking about your superpowers or if you would want them or if you had them, what would you do with them? And because we had already discussed whether or not they were real. So it kind of ties into something we talked about a few weeks ago, but right. since you don't remember that, do you remember that? What are you talking about? Yeah, do you remember mm -hmm. what I was talking about? Do you remember that you don't remember? Have you ever remembered? Would you like to remember again? Tonight, tonight, everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> new question, new question for you guys. If you were out and a UFO landed and uh -huh. right in front of you uh -huh. and some people from another world came off and asked you if you wanted to come with them and they they would bring you back, but they were like, We'll show you other worlds if you come with us or you cannot. Would you go with them or would you be like, mm, nah? Well, depends on if if they could give you superpowers or not. It almost really works that way, but not quite. But that it that does happen. There's been several Okay. There's been hundreds of people that said they've met aliens and world. But I'm talking about having the choice, but, not just being but, abducted. But me personally, I would just like you know, well, first I say, wow, y'all got a beer, you know, and then we have a <laughs> And then you get the alien drunk, you can find out a bunch of shit. <laughs> you find out a bunch of shit. So, you know, you just, here you go, try this. What is this? You know. <laughs> right? And you sit there and go, man, there's a lot of buttons here. <laughs> After a few beers, is that a real you, take, you would yeah. take them. <laughs> it's like, can I drive? Yeah. You know, and then you'd be in there. How do I get the safety? Boxes? I don't know. I if I had the choice, I'd probably say no, man, because I got I got shit to do, and there's a yeah. game on tonight. <laughs> yeah. So you know, I wouldn't. I I I personally wouldn't. I if they just came and just like you know, the tractor beam would just suck the fella up into, then you had no choice. But hopefully, I can bring a six pack with me. <laughs> but, 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 you know, I mean, that should be a hell of a story, you know, you say like, yeah, I got abducted by aliens, and fortunately I got to bring a, a half rat with me. So you're sitting up there partying with the aliens, and they're going, you know, this reminds me of Mead when we were here hundreds of years ago. And I said, well, this is how Mead has evolved, and people are now drinking, and they go, oh, it's pretty tasty. and then. Boom, next thing you know, everybody's wasted, I'm driving the ship. That would be fun as hell. Does where this thing where would you go? Water? Just does, that way? Does this, no, I mean, like, does this thing go underwater? Because you know, yes. they have, you oh. know, because they have them, they do. I know. People said, yeah, yeah. we just came down and just went right in the water. I said, is this one that does that? Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, wait. Is this a nitrous bottle? <laughs> 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 Let's get this puppy going. Get the party well, started. I, I'd, I'd say, say, I'd say, um, yeah. You would go with it? You would yeah. go. Would you ask any questions or anything? That would be the purpose of going, to find out. Right. And you might come back with a superpower. Or, or not. <laughs> or, or at least gone faster than anybody on Earth could ever Or the superpower super power you weren't expecting to have, but that's the one they want to give you. Ooh, that'd be different. Because you know you're talking about the fart thing? So fart they probed into your mind, you're like, this guy wants to be fart man. <laughs> so they make you fart man, like Cartman or somebody. <laughs> And you're able to fly because of the veracity of the fart. Yeah. But every well, time like long jumps, like the Hulk. Kind of like, kind of like, kind of like Red Bull gives you wings. You know? <laughs> oh, <laughs> land in it. <laughs> but they, again, they don't like, stink. They, they, they smell like weed bombs. Or, <laughs> or, or maybe, you, maybe you can have it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> fart man, come this <laughs> way. <laughs> Maybe you could have the ability to control whether they smelled or not, or what they smelled or like. Or what you wanted to smell like. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that'd be dope. Now, that'd be a good one. Oh, yeah, boy. I'd Stop all the gang violence. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Start yes. 
But yeah. every time they start a shootout, you just go and smell it all up. And they're like, never mind, y'all. Never mind, y'all. They walk on one side, and they walk on the other side, and they all be like, oh, shit, put their guns away and go home. Yeah, I don't know if I would take a ride with the aliens like that. I watch too much X-Files. And, oh, I know, I know. But you never know. But we may have already done it. We may uh, we may do it every day. There's supposed to be aliens around all the time. Oh, there are. Or there have been here for a long time. There are. Yeah. Some of us are. I mean, some of them are waiting to get back to them. That's true. That's yeah. true. And and and, and the some, thing is, some of them have uh, some, inhabited the earth. That's what so, we're talking about. So they're yes. now earthlings. They're not, they're not really aliens anymore. No, they're the original earthlings. Some of them. Yeah, yeah the the earthlings, earthlings, you know, just because they were an alien doesn't mean you're not what you were. That, you know, but the thing is, you know, there's, there's aliens, and, and there's some people, well, right now, they have them in, like, those special hospitals, but they can recognize the alien. Yes. Yeah. Like that little kid, you ever see that, that show, Resident Alien? And this guy that looks all human, everything. Oh yes, 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 and only yeah. one that can see him is that right, little kid. Right, right. right. <laughs> like that. that you know? I am. I'm watching though. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's good. Resident Aliens. It's, it's a crazy, crazy. Cause he's he's sent down to kill all the, you know, try to get start. Oh, it is like a TV show. Yeah. Oh man, I thought it was a documentary thing. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> But no, no, anyway, uh, he kind of falls in love with humans and everything, and he doesn't really want to kill them all, but that's beside the point. The point is that they're here already, and because that's why people are saying, like, Hillary Clinton is, like, when they snake people and stuff. Man, I've been, that lizard stuff been popping up on my timeline a lot. <laughs> yeah! And I'm like, yo! There's a lot, there might be a lot of lizard people here that, that kind of perpetuates that shit, and, if, and the thing is, if it, if you keep saying something that's so far out, you know, far out and outlandish, people will start disbelieving it, and they'll, you know, so that's one way to get people to stop looking for the aliens that are already here, and then and, 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 and just manipulate their their thoughts to something else. Hey, okay, here's something. So you guys know about you know the drought going around the world right now, oh, and the water yeah. levels falling, right? And they're finding all of these things, artifacts, and like yeah. towns and stuff. Um, and this part is beside the point, but I just wanted to mention it. You know, they hit a wall with that was written however many thousand years ago. It says, uh -huh. if you see this, well, it says weep, but translated to cry. Uh, just talking about how low the water's getting. Yeah. But with that and all the things they're finding, I am interested in, you guys know that thing that looks like the Millennium Falcon in the water? It has the whole shape of a, a spaceship and even has a drag mark to where it looks like it crash landed. It's there. And any boats that pass, all their wiring stuff goes down. People try to go down and, and check it out. And the uh, official story is that this was created, you know, just by the water. It's just something. But as the water gets lower, I'm very interested see what's there. to see what's going on. Now, I don't necessarily want it to get lower uh, just because we probably need water. Probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, I know yeah. I do. Like... <laughs> I am very interested in all of these old things they're finding. Yeah, I want to see some spaceships. When, so, we, when we was at Hoover Dam, you can see like it's white, and the water level is usually up here and then all the way down. So it's about a hundred feet lower. Oh yeah, yeah. Lake than Reed. it was. Yeah. Lake Reed right. is the one behind Hoover Dam, that one. And you can see, and then the Grand Canyon. Yes. Down there, same thing. You can see. Where the water has been there so long, everything's white. You can see the different and then as it goes down, you can just see yeah. that water used to be up there, but it's not no more. And people are like, you know, they got the drought going on. It's really weird. Half of the people is drought and wildfires. The other half of the people are getting flooded out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, the water was seven feet. Like, damn. Same time of year too. That's Same what I'm saying. Year. And and Greenland is shrinking. Yeah, Greenland's been shrinking for it. No, but I mean at a at a at a at a, yeah. a faster rate. Check and the, the ice cap. Yeah, the poles. And yeah. See now, the that's poles the thing. Going. If everything melting, I want to see what's going on in Antarctica. Well, I want to see what the they key. got popping. That's the key. That's yeah, why. Antarctica. That's why there's seventy, roughly countries, roughly seventy. 
uh, experimental stations down there. Yeah. And they said that uh, uh, the Chinese are, in, are encroaching on somebody else's territory or whatever, and they're testing all kinds of weird strange yeah. weapons or and or mm -hmm. you know it bacteria but they're even they've even yeah. found some bacteria in the ice first of all they need to stop okay i'm all for exploration but man stop digging up these diseases talking about yo here go with eight thousand year old disease we found, we found stop no. <laughs> you gonna get somebody sick. no they got diseases that's like eight minutes over in the lab right down Not downtown right. <laughs> and the thing is what happens is it gets away that's that's one of the theories of COVID. Yeah. They said they were experimenting with whatever yep. drugs or whatever, and it just got out. And then yep. one person got it, and it was easily transmissible, and then boom, 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 and now you got a pandemic on your hands. So, you know, and now they're talking about um, all the different variants. Well, you know what? Uh, yeah. Uh, the virus has changed. Well, that's what viruses do. That's why you got to get a different flu shot every year yeah. and it's not for this year's flu, it's for the last strain that they had. So you can still get a flu shot and get the flu. People Just like COVID, you can still get booster shots and still get COVID. It's still, oh, yes. sure. it's still going to mutate. The virus always mutates. That's the nature of, the nature that's, of a that's virus. What a virus does. <laughs> I mean, when we was in school and doing that little, little uh, Microscope, microscope study and stuff, and, and, and watch it and, and and dissecting things, and but they'd have the movies and they would show where, like through time lapse and 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 super micro micrography and all this stuff, they would show where the virus would be sitting and they would show it changing, yeah. and then they would show cell splitting and I mean, you know, yeah. so that's the nature of it, but. And the thing is, not that we're not gonna have a have a, have to have a only pots, the only shots we pots. were getting after we started like go in and when you're a baby and grow and in the first five years before you go in, in kindergarten you're getting all these shots right. and all these you know measles and what have you what have you and then the only shot that we would the only shot that you would ever get is if you're out there and step on a rusty nail yes you gotta go get a tetanus shot tetanus shot that would you be know? me. And that's what I'm saying. But other than that, once we got vaccinated when we were babies, that was it. But now they got a whole bunch of stuff, you know, and uh, shingles. That's another vaccine you can take. Yes. And, uh, you know, now they got monkey pox. We only had chicken pox. That right? just turned to a whole different animal. So I have a question with the monkey pox. I think that's bullshit. So <laughs> Could be. can monkeys get human pox from... Amen. I don't know. I don't know because you still had like what swine flu. Can pigs get it from us or did we get it from them? I don't know because every time I see a pig, it's in the shape of a pork chop or bacon. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Have they ever found a monkey with AIDS? Uh, I don't know. They said that's where it came from. That, that's why I asked. But I, don't, I mean, no, I, I don't know if they ever. If they ever did or not. You the know? aliens are keeping him in captivity. <laughs> and the whole thing, well, the whole thing is, you know, you have all this bestiality and so, like, right. you know, people are doing that. Right. And so that they are? beast, huh? They are? What? Doing people, that? People having sex That's with, the animals, word on the street. with animals. With animals? M M M <laughs> animals? Animals? Yeah. Really? Remember that guy down in Enum Club, whatever, in the horse thing? Remember that? No. This guy was the getting horse. done by a horse and, the, and it killed him. Just get what? And it was an Enum Claw or somewhere. Wait, 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 wait. It killed who? It killed the guy who was getting um, horsed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you don't remember that? No. That happened like it's been, I don't know, probably 15, 20, now maybe longer than that. But there was a guy and there was a place these people would go. And it was like some kind of little bestiality club. Oh, it wasn't just him. And the guy, and no, he no, was there. And then freaks. And they, yeah, and, oh, okay. and and they was at this particular one, and this guy was getting done by a horse, and it killed him. And that's how all the publicity came out about what these people were. So wait, I I I don't get it. 
Uh, he sure did. He got it. As <laughs> <laughs> you we we no we and I hope you never do. But yeah, what was he doing? He was getting, got. getting he was the horse was doing him in the butt. He doing get, the butt. He, 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 he was getting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Wilbur. Where'd you go, Wilbur? <laughs> Mr. Ish! <laughs> <laughs> Put some... Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Put some <laughs> that. That's uh, crazy! Yes. Yeah! Yes. Exactly! That's what, that was the whole point. That's why we're trying well, to... Was, it had to be 20... It had to be at least 20 years ago. That's why we don't want that to be your superpower. <laughs> Iron ass, man. <laughs> This has been going on throughout human civilization, where apparently men and 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 animals, and I don't know if there's any women involved, but I know for sure it was men. And then, well, actually, there are women involved because you know they used to have them videos with the German Shepherd. Well, anyway, that's another thing. But anyway, yes, yes, that's another yeah. thing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there was a there was yeah. a, a lady. A girl that went to Franklin. Oh Lord, don't throw that give her the government. I'm, 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 <laughs> hey, wait! I looked at him. I saw his eyes move and think real quick. That's why I had it. That's why I had it. Well, I, but anyway, I, I, she was she was a girl that we went to school with. Yeah. Okay. And my 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 sister. Uh huh. Put it out there. Oh yeah. That she was. Dogging it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you and, 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 she, and she was getting paid big bucks for it. Oh, yeah. Well, of course, if you film it and, and distribute it, yeah, I guess you could get Because, uh, I mean, if you go on that interweb thing, there's any kind of and every kind of fetish you ever wanted to think of and lots you never would even believe could be a fetish. Like the gerbil thing? Who invented the gerbils up the behind? Uh, gerbil? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. New York City! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 No, there's a gerbil. You haven't never heard of that gerbils and pantyhose and shit? Heck to the no. Oh, well, they would put them in a pantyhose and then shove them up there and then they would just, and they would get that sensation, I guess. I don't know what. And then they would yank them the hell back out, but sometimes the gerbil would cut through the, the, the pantyhose and so he'd be stuck up there. So then the people got to go to the emergency room and explain, explain that shit. And wait. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's the matter? We didn't know. Wait, 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 wait for the doctor. Right. Yeah. Wait for the doctor. You know? but, uh, do but, you remember the day that, that we went out the out the Ballard and we were informed that the dribbles had died? And, oh hell and had yeah! Had a for in the backyard. <laughs> and I didn't know what the fucking dribble was. I was like, who, that, I, I thought they had killed a family or something. They buried them in the backyard. <laughs> Man, what kind of people is your wife, is your woman staying with? <laughs> it was it was it was his son's mother, her foster home, yeah. right? Foster yeah. home. Yeah. Yeah, and they had timpani in the basement, you know, uh, kettle drums and stuff. Okay. And then they was talking about the gerbils. Now I'm serious. I was like 19 years old, had no fucking idea what a gerbil was. New guinea pigs, new hamsters. Yeah. Gerbils was not in part of the, of the program. So they're talking about the goddamn gerbils, and I'm thinking, well, these people, what, what, dude, who are the gerbils, right? And, and, and you know. I'm, I'm oh. just snickering because I, I know what he's going through. And, he, and he's just sitting over there like, <laughs> you know what, I, I had no idea. Who the gerbils were? I thought it might have been the family, the family next door. Of gerbils. Thought it might have been the family next door that's fucking with these guys. They said, "No, we'll take care of your ass." It didn't kill the bear in the backyard. I didn't know who the gerbils were. I'm sitting there sweating, my dad laughing, <laughs> and I'm like, and, I, and I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, 
I mean, these people mass murderers and shit, and they talk about it so casually. <laughs> you know? So what, were they raising gerbils or what? Yeah, yeah they were kids. Cats. The kids cats. had oh, the kids. cats. Gerbils are one of them little hamster looking things. Right, right. But you can't well, just like, like so they had them, them, like okay. So like, they had you okay, know they okay. had them like a little cage and they were just raising they gotcha. beat them and do everything. But apparently one or 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 it was more it was had died, and they're like, well, uh, well we and the little kid was like, are we gonna have the funeral for the gerbils? And I'm like, wow, are you bringing the kids in? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I had no idea. So we get in the car, we go, we go, and we're, we're, we're probably headed to your place. Uh, more than likely. <laughs> and he, he just kind of looks at me casually and says, Man, what kind of people are you associating with? <laughs> who, who are the fucking gerbils? And why did they kill them? <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, I swear, I, I did not know, I had not heard gerbils. I had not heard because right, you know how they, you know how they say, yeah. you know, like uh, like a lot of us little black children are not exposed to a yeah, bunch of stuff, is, yeah. and so you know, having grown up being a black child, yeah. <laughs> I missed those, I missed out on dribbles. Yeah. So Even it's though, time for us to get out of here. You know. So uh, is it time to uh, wrap it, wrap, wrap it, it right. up? Serious question before we go. You're a flat earth guy, right? I don't know. Do you believe the earth is flat? Why would I? Well, then you're not a flat earth guy. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was a pretty straightforward question. All right. Cool. So join us next time for stimulating conversation with three black dudes and a young black dude. Well, that older. means you have to differentiate three old black dudes. <laughs> <laughs> right, and three of, three of us older ones. That's right. Uh, All of us and, and that guy who's okay. not as old as us. Disclaimer, I'm not an old guy, but I was born when I was born. I had no control over it. I know, it's so crazy. I just celebrated my the 42nd anniversary of my 30th birthday. Yeah, peace. Yeah.